Everybody knows about the cat in the hat and the Grinch, but welcome to the secret art of Dr. Sis. My name is Jeff Jaffe. I'm the owner and founder of Pop International Galleries. Dr. Seuss, his name was really Theodore Geisel. Everybody called him Ted. His wife, Audrey, is the executor of his estate, and she has made accessible to the world a collection of classic illustration art that everybody recognizes and some of the best pieces that he ever made from the secret art collection. The people are seeing the iconic cat in the hat in the window and strolling in, not really knowing what they're walking into. Green eggs and ham, green eggs and ham. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, where to cut that? <laughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mug. So this is a piece called A Plethora of Cats. It's 318 cats. He had a great love of cats. Ted Geisel had a dad who worked in a zoo. When animals would die, uh, his dad would save the beaks and the horns and the bills, and eventually they found their way into the possession of Dr. Seuss. And he created paper mache characters. Everybody tells me, this is me. <laughs> but it's called the Goo Goo Eyed Tasmanian Walgast. What the heck does that mean? These pieces are just offshoots of his creativity and they were creative outlets. This piece here, I think this represents him in his own house. It's stable, but it's chaotic. And this is a piece called The Martini Bird where he's actually sort of making fun of society ladies. The reality is there's so many interpretations of a piece of art like this. Even though it's a teddy bear, it might represent the son who wants to see what mom and dad is doing in the bedroom. Crook smiles and the offbeat mannerisms of the creatures are windows into ourselves. And when I look at this picture, I feel like this is actually, this is his nose right here. And maybe he's actually smoking in this picture. The rather odd myopic woman riding piggyback on one of Helen's many cats. It is a rather naughty piece, playing jokes on the cat and the position of the woman. My favorite piece might be a relaxed in spite of it. My interpretation of it is this sort of family completely relaxed amongst all of the chaos. He's telling very serious stories in this incredibly playful way that when you reread those stories now as an adult, I think you'll see a lot more messaging and imagery that you didn't really appreciate as a child. That's probably why billions of people have uh, bought his books and many, many thousands have begun to add his artwork to their collections. Mm -hmm.